Veronica Velasquez is here to pick up her fifth grader, but today it's a very special surprise. They haven't seen each other in a year since Velasquez was deployed to Afghanistan. <laughs> I missed everything about her, her voice, and her seeing her face every day. That's the first thing that came to mind was always my kids. The surprise was planned by Victor Sosa, Velasquez's sister's boyfriend, a college student who's helped take care of Jamie while her mom's been away. Jamie wasn't expecting her mother until next week. It's indescribable um, being away from someone you love with all your heart, like a mom. She didn't even see the birth of her grandkid. That's why I wanted to do it so bad for her. I know the sacrifice personally from my family and just seeing the sacrifice from her family and it makes everything worth it. That sacrifice for her country, taking the single mother of three halfway around the world, her kids counting the days to see her again. What are your fears when she's away? Um, that she doesn't get shot or anything because that will miss, I will miss her. Velasquez is back for two weeks, then headed to base in New York. She has another year and a half of military service and then hopes to see her kids grow up, not via Skype, but in person. Yeah, you got taller. Birthdays, holidays, just pretty much I miss everything for a whole year. It's time that I can't really make up, but just spend more time with them. In Pacoima, Rudabe Shabazi, ABC7 Eyewitness News. What'd you get? Hey, how come you guys didn't pick me up? <laughs> oh my gosh, my tears. Scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh. <laughs> <Feel> that. <laughs> All right, girls. Are you ready to CrossFit? Yeah. All right. Happy birthday. <laughs> All right. One wave. Okay, let's go.
recording. I'm headed over to Nate. Justin is in the car. Hey kids, can you do me a favor? Yeah. There's a guy. Hang on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. That's my car right there. Mm -hmm. There's a guy in there. He's dressed like a sailor. Would you mind bringing him here to mm. go trick or treating at this house? Is that okay? It's a guy. It's a guy. He's he's an actual sailor. He's uh -huh. meeting his fiance for the first time. He's been gone for six months. Uh -huh. Okay, so he's gonna surprise her, and he just wants to look like one of the tricks and treaters. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's right over there. right here. Tell him. Yeah. So go over there. Just knock on the door and tell him his mom sent you, and you're gonna walk him up here. Okay, come, come, guys. Okay. okay. Sound good? All right. Sure. Meg, hi. Hi. Hey. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Hey, Doc. How you doing, Don? Hi. You know what bling she's got on? Let me see the bling. Oh, it's just on my head. Oh, it's adorable. Okay, yeah. let me get a shot and here. Dog. That's adorable. Oh, oh you except, look great. Except she's Paris Hilton. She's got her. She's such a little butt thing on. She's been barking nonstop. The big one just whimpers pathetically. Well, it's because it's Halloween. Yeah. yeah. We did have to get the big dog out because there's a group of like drunk teenagers standing there. <laughs> So she just came out and barked. So Dot was like, why don't you get Star? And Star was being too nice. <laughs> she was actually quiet. Aww. So we were trying to get her to bark. And she wouldn't. Because no, she, she did has, finally. Finally? She has oh, such a okay. deep bark. Teddy's like that. She can be intimidating. But right. she's a big softie. Right. She she's about people. as terrifying as a kitten. <laughs> yes. You've not met she looks tough until she gets close enough. And yeah. then it's and then it's all oh, love. Yeah, love, I had a love, three year old love. pit bull in our drive through. Oh, you got tricks and treaters a, coming. Oh, he was smothering me with kisses. Yeah, be nice. Trick or treat. Go ahead and take what you want, guys. Alright, if I got a treat. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> 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 Thank you. After March and the will be petty officer, oh, Taylor. Really? That's the next test is. I'm going to be married. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> Michael, don't Sorry about that. <laughs> Obviously, haven't seen each other a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Round up six months. So you want to be over for tonight? <laughs> you know, I recognized him before she did. <laughs> <laughs> well played. <laughs> he looks taller. What happened? The baby happened. <laughs> this is the first time Dad's gotten to see you and your wife. Yep. <laughs> 
Oh, guys, turn around. Pose for the camera. <laughs> Here we are. Okay, okay, I'm gonna turn it off now, okay? Alrighty, you ready? So, I need you back a little. Is that alright? Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Well, for the past six months, Lieutenant Paul Carroll has been overseas, but he is home now, and we were there when his son got the big surprise. Yeah, we ran the story initially on Friday, but on Veterans Day, we wanted to run it again, partly because it is so special and partly because, well, we could just run one of these every day yeah, and, sure and watch could. it over and over again. Here's News Force Nigel Robertson with the surprise. Just look at him. Josh Carroll, an eighth grader at Lead Academy in Greenville, has no idea what is about to happen. His mother, however, does. Jamon Williams. You see, Josh thinks he is just at another end of the nine weeks awards program, but what he doesn't know is just outside the cafeteria. Yeah, we're going to try to pull it off. He thinks I'm coming home in about three weeks. Yep, his dad, Lieutenant Paul Carroll, is home from Afghanistan. Mom and the school staff. Planned the whole surprise. Today, we also want to pay honor and tribute to another type of service. Now, the moment is just seconds away. The final award is for service to your country. Josh and his mom are called up in front of the whole school. Now, just watch and listen to what happens next. Please make welcome back home, First Lieutenant. <laughs> Dad and son together again. Nigel Robertson, WYFF News 4, Greenville. Well, there's some, there's some raw emotion for you. That's, I wanted that, to talk after just, this. That is just fantastic. Mm. And apparently the surprises continued. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Friday night, First Lieutenant Carroll's two other sons also came home from the Citadel for the weekend. They also had no idea that their dad would be there waiting for them. <laughs> Baby! <laughs> Yo ya tenía mis boletos para como tres meses.